Hello friends. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of building an antenna analyzer that I recently designed and assembled. Antenna analyzers are incredibly valuable tools for any amateur radio operator who wants to build or tune their antennas. These devices are highly practical and essential for adjusting antenna tuners and evaluating your transmitting or receiving equipment. Antenna analyzers are available on the market in various brands and price ranges. However, building one yourself not only saves you significant costs but also lets you enjoy the process of creating it. Plus, as a do-it-yourself tool, it will be easier to repair or upgrade in the future. So, join me in this video, and I'd appreciate your likes. At the core of many antenna analyzers lies a return loss bridge, RLB. Essentially, an RLB is the well-known Wheatstone bridge that many of us studied in basic electrical engineering courses during high school or university. As illustrated in the diagram, a balanced Wheatstone bridge delivers zero voltage across its arms when all resistors are equal. However, if the value of any component changes, the bridge becomes unbalanced, producing an output voltage proportional to the imbalance between its arms. From Wheatstone bridge to SWR measurement. We leverage this property of Wheatstone bridges to create a valuable tool for measuring an antenna's standing wave ratio, SWR, the return loss bridge. Here's how it works. Setup. Power the bridge with an RF signal source at your desired frequency. I used AD9850 DDS signal generator. Calibration. Use 50 ohm resistors for all arms, standard impedance. Replace one resistor with the antenna under test. Observation When the antenna's impedance is close to 50 ohms, the bridge output voltage is minimized, indicating an SWR of 1. If the antenna impedance deviates, such as 100 ohms, the output voltage increases, corresponding to a higher SWR. Converting RLB output to SWR Theoretically, an RLB's output is in return loss, dB, which correlates with SWR, as shown in the diagram. To simplify. Method 1, use a lookup table in your microcontroller, here I used Arduino Nano, to map measured voltages to SWR values. Method 2, my approach. Test voltages of known resistors, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 ohms for SWR 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plot a linear regression in Excel to derive a voltage to SWR formula. Implement this formula in the microcontroller. Now all done. In this image, you can see the return loss bridge, RLB, paired with a logarithmic amplifier to measure antenna SWR, exactly as I implemented in my antenna analyzer project. As shown in the schematic, I built the RLB using 50 ohm resistors, with the antenna port as one arm. Connected the bridge outputs to a logarithmic amplifier, AD8307, which amplifies the voltage difference across the bridge. The output voltage correlates with the antenna's SWR. By testing known resistors, simulating SWR1, 2, etc., I derived a conversion formula via Excel curve fitting and embedded it into the Arduino code. Alternative, diode-based detector, K6BEZ design. You can build an analyzer without a logarithmic amplifier, using diode rectifiers, see schematic. This design, popularized by American ham K6BEZ, is widely used. However, due to the low output voltage of AD9850, Diodes operate non-linearly, reducing accuracy. It's not comparable to commercial analyzers. Why AD8307? Precision matters. The AD8307, analog devices, ensures high accuracy across frequencies, even with weak signals. Its logarithmic amplifiers output a voltage proportional to the difference between RLB arms. This IC is a staple in RF wattmeters and analyzers, my tests confirmed exceptional precision. Thanks, analog devices. Final steps, 
Arduino and PCB. Coding. Arduino reads the AD8307 output and converts it to SWR. PCB, designed in sprint layout, fabricated via toner transfer. Power, features a 2x16 character LCD, Li-ion batteries, and auto charging for portability. At the end of this video, I'll demonstrate several practical applications of the analyzer, VE built. First, as you can see in the image, I'm testing a standard 50 ohm dummy load at 14 MHz. As expected, the SWR reading shows exactly 1.0. Here, I'm tuning a homemade loop antenna for the 15 meter band. The antenna's high sensitivity and the precision required for tuning are clearly evident, loop antennas have extremely narrow bandwidths. However, with our analyzer, we can precisely tune for minimum SWR with patience and care. This analyzer allows me to properly tune the loop antenna for mobile operations before connecting it to my rig. Finally, in this section, you'll see me tuning my external dipole antenna, which serves as my primary HF antenna for radio contacts, using an antenna tuner. As shown, I'm currently adjusting the tuner for minimum SWR in the 15 meter amateur band specifically for FT8 signals. The analyzer performs perfectly, displaying both SWR and reflection readings in real time.